Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. And I'm John Humphrey. We're going to watch the trailer for John Wick Parabellum. 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 I don't like big words. We're probably the last ones to get our trailer reaction up. I'm going to kill them. I'm going to kill them all. Akasa. <laughs> Tyrone Magnus. <laughs> all right, well, before we hop into this trailer, guys, I wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you sons of B-words who I've been downloading and following us on the Stardust app. Over there, we post 30-second reaction reviews for any film, TV show, and or trailer. Some of them are micro-sketches. It's a total blasty blast and a place you want to be. It's free to download, free to use, so do it today. And away we go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is like picking up like There's no escape from you. The high table wants your life. Tell me what you want. Angelic Houston. Pets. To reach the unreachable you expect him to make it out? A $14 million bounty on his head. And every word in the city wants a piece of it. I say the odds are about even. <laughs> God, five seconds. John, excommunicado in effect in three, two, one. Oh, I love this literal ticking time clock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what you're waiting for. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's like Yakuza members. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Love those. Ooh. Look. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like it's hard. The dogs are getting some. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Even the dogs get to the dogs ass. fight back <laughs> this time around. It was the only place left to go. Was uh, ass kicking dogs. I remember one of our like we both loved the first John Wick, mm -hmm. and I really enjoy the second John Wick. I don't like it as much as the first. But this seems to have some aesthetic that harkens back a little bit more to the first one. Specifically in terms of its cinematography. Oh yeah, yeah. all the neon lighting and the expressive it's imagery and stuff bold. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It definitely, that was something I was missing in the second one a bit more. The second one felt a bit more grungy and sort of handheld. And this one uh, definitely feels like it's bringing back some of the sleekness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like how the, the consistency of this keeps going where... Each one picks up, not like the minute after, mm -hmm. but but soon, right around the yeah. time. <laughs> like, yeah. this looks like it could be like two hours later or something like that. Well, what's you know? the What's the time limit before he uh, is? Is it an hour? Uh, oh yeah, to get away, right? Yeah, because yeah. this will be like within the hour, because that moment where he's with the uh, that guy who's like stitching him up or whatever, and he's like five seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's that's you know till the uh, excommunicado goes live and everybody can hunt him down. And he's trying to find a way. He's gonna have to shoot his way out of here. And I love that ticking time clock, that level of real suspense, you know. Mm -hmm. And that that was something that I did feel took a while to kick in that that level of suspense in the second one mm -hmm. and this seems like it's just going to start off with that <laughs> like you are really going to get thrusted into this 
environment. Oh of, yeah, he's gonna die. Man, <laughs> Everyone's really looking knows. for him, and they they always amp up the set pieces. You know, I love that moment with the, you know I, I said Yakuza where the guys are like on the motorcycles with, yeah, with swords, swords yeah. and it seems like they're amping up some things we might have seen in some other movies. You know that thing where there's like mirrors bad guy and mirrors and they're cheating their way through <laughs> i find that can be an occasional annoying trope in a lot of action flicks however something tells me they're going to do something pretty unique with this i mean I, yeah john john wick has that reputation of like well i'll kind of take a look at whatever they're going to bring to something i've seen before because it usually seems like yeah. the action is where these movies sing the loudest and they always have creative takes on set pieces yeah and bone crunching combat you know well with the action uh, i was thinking of you know jason Bourne because of the book yeah right in his right. mouth yeah too, but like, that's what i mean ugh. it's like okay jason Bourne hits a guy with a book but in this one no he's gonna put it right in the mouth and slam it in yeah. there it's gonna be brutal you know and i love those additions <laughs> and it seems like he is going up the main the, at least the guy in the mirror looks like an asian guy mm -hmm. you know so maybe maybe uh there is something to do with like yakuza because I, I remember the writer of this talked about wanting to do some kind of nomad story where John Wick's in Japan. Doesn't look like that. Looks like he's still in New York City. You know? or some, yeah. But at least it seems to be drawing some sort of inspiration from that. Maybe well, having, he flies there. I think so. It, it might be that. Uh, I, I really can't tell. I mean, that that, that sequence I was teased on like stuff like Instagram and Twitter with the him horse. riding the horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know Arnold did it first with True Lies, but come on. It's going to be John Wick style. And we've commentated on this before, how it seems like a lot of movies do this uncharted thing, Indiana Jones thing. <laughs> and now you're eating John Wick's out in the desert now. Yep. It's Climbing some random... <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Aquaman did it. It's just a thing that goes on in a lot of... And the MIB International Trader shows are going to some spot like that. Yeah. And then here, yeah, they're going to some type of dune now. And it's like the most random shot in the trailer too, so I'm very curious as to how it fits anywhere into this movie. Well, it seems like he's going to meet up with uh, Halle Berry's uh, Sophia. In, in that moment. At least that's how it communicated to me here, that she's hiding out somewhere there. Maybe maybe the Continental is underneath the sand. Yeah, they've got a over special there. satellite <laughs> yeah. for uh, high-risk <laughs> members. Yeah, no, yeah sand falls yeah, Exactly. It'd be great. Some archaeological Continental, the roots, the origins of all, all this beginning. So, yeah, and Halle Berry looks cool too, man. Yeah, yeah, good addition to the cast. I mean, that's, you know, another one of the charms of John Wick is like, ooh, who are they going to add this time? Yeah. Not Carrie Ann Moss, Halle Berry. Yeah. No, no. Part four will be Carrie Ann Moss, and he'll like ride a scooter or a skateboard or something, sure. you know, just to mix it up again. <laughs> well, I would love that. I might, I might love that. I, they, I mean, the director uh, Chad Stahelski was talking about how he he wishes he could just do this forever. Like he just Aww. he really loves being invested in this world, and. I mean, I'm, I'm very curious because part two opened up the world in a way I didn't anticipate. Mm. Like, it got so much deeper mm. in its roots. Of, what do they call the group? Um, uh, the ones who run the Continental, like the, the heads of the table. Oh, the high table? The high table. Yeah, the heads of the table. The yeah. high table, yeah. Uh, yeah, the high table. It, 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 was he talking with someone from the high table there when he was saying, I want passage? I was wondering about that, too. I mean, I, I certainly wouldn't put it past them to, you know, maybe he finds a way to get somebody from the high table into a compromising position and gets leverage or whatever, but it yeah. could also be somebody completely removed from that. Yes. You know? I guess what gets me excited about this, and the way that it's being executed, at least from just this trailer, the first one felt like a very personal action movie. Mm -hmm. And that's what made it so gripping. I think that's why we were so invested in John Wick. And the second one was more like, rock and roll, kill him! <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, it was very much like an action movie! And I kind of get a vibe, I should have looked at what Parabellum means, but I, and I kind of get a vibe that this is a little bit of both, of uh, something that has this real personal, emotional stakes, but will also be that rock and roll action yeah, film simultaneously. Yeah. So this could be the best of both worlds, in my, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm hoping. And now we just got to see how he delivers that dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> and before we wrap this video up, I want to give a patron of the day shout out to a man named Diego Chaidez. Diego, it's been a long time since you and I have talked with one another and I miss you man 
What have you been up to? How has your Christmas been? How was your New Year's? Do you have a New Year's resolution to slay more bitches in the field? Because without a doubt, you are possibly one of the top two best looking people I've ever seen at our Patreon page, men and women combined. I love you, man. Send me a message and we'll talk. You guys can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Click that notification bell to get notified. Every time one of our videos is up, I was also in the movie Replicas this month. <laughs> and it was great. You could Everybody loved it. Check us out on Patreon. We do TV show reaction watch-alongs, weekly Q&As, and music video coverage replicas. I would love to have you become Patreon today. It's great. It's a great impression of Keanu Reeves. It's the suit, John.